uh, uh, problem actually pretty well. What and, did they do about it? Do you know? Um, I know they just gave him a suspension without pay. It was it was like they they were pretty much very solid yeah, on their just like- on their um you know how strict they were. Um, the Micro Barrow case is different. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, with something like this, I think they should probably. I mean, he played in the game last night too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like he. Uh, He's gonna be losing the games too. Ex- exactly. So I mean, if he takes a hundred dollars, uh, about one million dollars out of his bank account, I mean, maybe it's different. Um, but at the same time, when you have someone like that representing the league, and especially representing. The Predators, who are first, first place in the NHL. In the entire league. Exactly. Like, do you want that type of person? And distraction. Exactly. You know? Um, so, at this point, I really uh, I think they should give them a heavy suspension or something because um, it just looks bad in the NHL. But look at look at the NFL and look yeah, at Yeah, I was just about to say that. You said, you said uh, I don't know that guy's name, the first guy you were talking about. S- uh, uh, Slava Voinov? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, with him, you could tell, like, the NHL kind of – did something about it where like in the nfl you have uh roger goodell who's kind of like well look at trying to hide stuff almost look at the look at look at um right uh ray rice Rice, um you know beat up his wife and and they're talking about how that could have happened like months before people were actually trying to find out yeah or and and it's just like some of the stuff is kind of shady or kind of like kept under secret about how they went about going about the situation and like that that is I instead think of just figuring it out and kind of just like solving the problem right then and there but like, like what do you think because ray rice is going to be reinstated or i think he is reinstated but no team has picked him up yet do you think he should be back or should he just stay away i mean like do you think he even has a future because i, I hey, personally think he'll get picked up exactly i he mean will, but I, I don't know if he's going to be the caliber he was what he used to be yeah i mean same thing with peterson I mean, um, look at uh, look at like how decent of a player is. Like, like any team that's in trouble could pick him up. Like, look at the Jets, who have been absolutely abysmal this year. Yeah, we'll um, some offensive weapons. Exactly, and I think that even though what can make you, what are you doing? I'm lifting are you trying to are you trying I'm to lift lifting, Sean up? No, I'm lifting the tape roll that he's playing with. Put it in my hand. I don't know where your hand is. Just lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. Yeah. Oh. All right, it's in my hand now. Oh, you I, were saying? <laughs> um, I completely forgot what I was saying. <coughs> Something about tape. Jets, how they stay. Jets, yeah. Oh, yeah jets well, I'll get to the point. <laughs> Basically, it, you look at A Rod too. You know, if if the player can play the game. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't just like not pick anyone up because of something they did, unless it's murder, unless it's like yeah, unless it's like something really awful. Well, you know, like if Ray it's, Lewis. Well, yeah, but he didn't get caught for it. Um, but, like, in a situation like this, I mean, like, just, like, look at the talent you have. You can pick him up, pick him up. But if you can't, and if he's not even a good player anymore, drop him. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, now, if that case, if that was a ha- were to happen in the NHL, do you think they would react the same way? Or would it be different? Or I mean, I really, I don't think the NHL has had a lot of situations like that mm-hmm. um, where they where they can do that mm-hmm. i mean I, I feel like every big sports league has their own oh, yeah. issue they, you know what i mean like policies and whatnot exactly but, but i think when when it comes to the nhl um i think stuff like that isn't really their biggest problem i think it's more of um injuries and hits uh, mm-hmm. i think the past five years they've they really in the game they've the really time. really gone after hits to the head and, and elbows and they have a zero tolerance policy on that even if that can be um you know, a little skewed sometimes about who gets the suspensions and how long they are. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, every every athlete, you're going to find any athlete in any sport who has a problem with domestic abuse or Definitely. alcoholism. So. Yep. What are you going to do? Speaking of, oh, I just, just came up in my mind. Speaking of the NFL, what do you think of LaShawn McCoy going to the Bills? Honestly, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Th- what are the Eagles thinking? That's what I'm saying. I mean, honestly, Chip Kelly is looking for his his offense, and Lashawn McCoy was an, a factor. I don't know if he was. I mean, I definitely think he'll benefit the Bills. And let me tell you right now, Lashawn McCoy going to the Bills is going to make Buffalo a threat. 
in the playoff race in the NFL because now they got Rex Ryan as their coach. Rex Ryan is an offensive coach. Yeah. That's why he never worked well with the Jets because the Jets have a fantastic defense. Yes. Yeah, it's all defense. <laughs> they have a great defense, the Jets. Had a, phenomenal. But Rex Ryan knew how to coach the offense, and there was nobody to coach on the offense. Geno Smith, Vic, they have no weapons. You know, I mean, they were they were all right, but they, they really couldn't produce. Now with Buffalo, Buffalo's got a phenomenal defense, and now with McCoy, they might have a high-powered offense. The only problem is their quarterback. I mean, they, who they just signed? Uh, Freeman? No, not Freeman. Uh, who was it? McCowan. Tell you. Yeah. McCowan. The Buffalo Buffalo just signed McCowan for some reason, and he's, he's a veteran quarterback, but they got to find a more... I don't want to say producing offense, I guess. Like McCoy's are going to benefit them, definitely. But they got to get some quarterback. I mean, EJ Manuel is the second string right now. That was their draft pick a couple years back. Yeah. But he hasn't been producing. So. I just need other options at this point, but they the got problem nice, is who. A nice weapon in Sammy Watkins. but. Yeah, and I think I think another big thing with um, McCoy uh, leaving, mm-hmm. I, I mean, obviously it hasn't been said yet, but, you know, he was projected to do, like, such great things. He was, like, number one draft pick for fantasy football. Yeah. And then – they come out in the season, and he's split in time with Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. So it's kind of like he was he was projected to do such great things, and then you like you make him change. So I think he's looking forward to get like he's gonna get to be lot, the yeah, number one exactly. in Buffalo. He's That's the really big produce. thing. And uh, Buffalo would be a good fit for him. You know, yeah. Rex, Rex will coach him well. Um, and he's still in the cold. Yeah. Right. I, I'm still cons- I'm still curious as to why Rex went to Buffalo. You know. I mean, it might be because he hates the Patriots and wants to beat them. Yeah, I but. think. That, I mean, I mean, he was bound to get a job wherever he wants. Yeah, but wherever he wants. But staying, maybe he wanted a head coach. Division. Did he really get any other offers though? I mean, did they talk about anything else really? I. It, it seemed like it kind of did happen pretty quick. It did. So I'm, I'm guessing he did have an offer right away. But at the same time, like, well, I don't know why. Like you know, if 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 you want to get like anywhere else, or even if it's in the same division, if you want to be a coach anywhere in the NFL, you you know you have to take it. Yeah, well, you have to take it, but it's but your if choice. You stay. If you want to stay, yeah. yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. I feel like Rex, the kind of guy who's trying to like make the team his. Like he went to the Jets, and the Jets weren't really doing great, and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna like build this team. He did do. I mean, it, yeah, it's not like it's good. not like the Jets. It's not like it's not like Rex Ryan. Like completely led the Jets to like Terminal. the dumpster. Like they no, went to two oh, straight yeah, no, AFC no, no, no. championships. Yeah, they like, went to two straight championships. He can games. produce, but I'm feeling like if he went to a team that was like, again, let's just—it's never gonna happen. But I'm saying like, let's say he went to the Pats. Mm-hmm. I feel like he would have no control there because he has players that like know exactly what they're gonna do, and they know how to run their offense and they know how mm-hmm. to do their thing. Where if he goes to Buffalo, he can kind of like make a fresh start. That's the thing. I don't know. Is it, I sometimes I wonder. You know, in a, a big team like the Patriots, uh, you know, you look at like basketball and you see Kobe Bryant, or or then Kobe Bryant. He's he's out now, but and then LeBron James, and all these superstars, and and you know, you, sometimes you see them like take over games. You know, you saw Clay Thompson's thirty-seven point third quarter. Or Westbrook yeah. dominating. Or yeah, Russell Westbrook Future playing MVP, unbelievable. By the way. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You um think Curry's gonna get it. Hey, no, I think uh, James Harden, but yeah. I, I uh, want that's, Harden. That's, I a, want that's Harden. That's another. That's another discussion for another time. <laughs> we'll talk um, about this later. <laughs> but but then you look at you know look at all these superstars you know racking up so many points and they're scoring like half of the team's points. Mm-hmm. But in terms of basketball, basketball is more of a team sport than anything. Uh, is it? Is it really? When you have Russell Clearly Westbrook... Clearly here in this situation, it's not. When you see what? Russell Westbrook scoring like 40 points, I'm not, dis- I'm not, I'm not discrediting... That can only go so far. That can only go so far. If you look at Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan literally drove the Bulls to six straight championships. He wasn't alone. Yeah, but you, like can't, you, say- you can't compare Jordan and like... Scotty Pippen hand in hand. Yeah, like you can't say you can't say if Jordan was on the team with Scotty with Scotty Pippen and their teamwork really win th- a three straight championships two times. Or even or even LeBron James first time he was in Cleveland. You're telling me he had a team around him? Well, he had Bosh and Wade. Oh, I no, that's I Miami. Meant, I thought you meant Miami. That was Miami. No, in, in Cleveland, in Cleveland he, well, he has. Irving. And then as soon as he left, they now were one of the does. worst teams. Then they got Kyrie Irving, and now Kyrie Irving, and then you have Kevin Love, and they have LeBron James, and now they're good again. And then you exactly go to, you have a team. That's what I'm saying. Like yes, yes, but, a player can be great and you know completely dominate and produce all the points and produce more than half the team's points, but that can only go so far. You have a couple good games, you have a hot streak, 
when the playoffs come and when the, when the time comes, you're not going to be able Alex, to do I it yourself. Alex, I understand that, but, but like, the thing is, is what I'm saying, you can have players single-handedly win you a game. And I'm not saying... There it's not true with every uh, single team. That's but what it I'm does saying, happen. yeah. Because you have, like, the San Antonio Spurs, which is just a complete domination team yeah. all around. Like, Kobe Bryant, like, like seven or eight years ago, scoring, like, 81 points. Yeah. Like, no way there's teamwork involved. No, Like, it's literally, give me the ball, the I'm ball going to, to shoot. And, like, that's the thing. <laughs> and what I was going to say was, as a coach, do you just say, like, is it Give like, all ball. right, guys, this is what <laughs> the formation yeah, is going to be. No. Give the ball to Kobe. <laughs> and, and, like, and then you put that to football. Can you be like, listen, guys, say Rex Ryan goes to the Pats. Is he really going to have control over Peyton Manning? Or is it Peyton Manning just making Tom his Brady. own plays? Tom you know Brady. what I mean? Like, that's what yeah, I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> and, like, I could be wrong. I, I'm not a big football guy. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm, not, I'm not that type of guy. But you go to the NBA and you look at a guy like LeBron James when he was on the Heat. And literally looked like he was like no coaching at all. It was just them three just dominating. Mm -hmm. And to their credit, went to four straight finals. And that's fine. But like sometimes I wonder, is it just is it a team sport? You know what I mean? And and especially in the NFL, and I think coaching is way more important in the NFL. But like sometimes you look at the NBA, like I really don't know. Yeah, how a lot like, of people yeah. do their own thing. Well, no, I think I think you can in some situations say it is the same scenario with NFL because let's say you're, you're talking about you know like. The Cowboys. Tony Romo's first choice is Des Bryant. Obviously. Yeah. You know, so, like, his number one thought is pass it over to him. Or, like, you go or to, like... it off to Murray. Yeah. Well, I'm saying you have those two powerhouses. Or it's mm -hmm. like you go to the Lions, and it's like Megatron. Yeah. But, I mean... I mean... But that's what I'm but saying. But then you also have situations where it's like... Tom Brady. You have, like, Gronk. You have Edelman. Exactly. You, you one get player it to does not a team make. Yeah. But you could also you could see Tom Brady dominating at times, and I know I know he's passing to the other player, but there there's times when he single handedly drives the team yeah. down, and he seems to hit everything. Yeah, it's I mean it's and like it's every I feel like it's in every it's in every sport. It happens in hockey. Yeah. Look at Ovechkin; he'll score like three goals a game in like the third period. Like it, like every sport has that one player that can just take over a game. Yeah. So I guess it's a little bit of both. Sometimes you know the the player can take over, and other times you really do. Need like the it's systems yeah. and everything, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's luck one day, it's pure skill other days, it's very iffy. Yeah, speaking of Ovechkin, I just want to touch there real quick. I was looking online the other day and I noticed the Capitals and the Habs pretty much control everything league leader wise. Um, well, what Ovechkin, Ovechkin, Backstrom, and um, or, or Price, Carey Price, and like they, they just dominate the league leaders. It's pretty interesting. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm it's, looking it's at the stats it's now. It's literally just capitals and. You have Ovechkin who's leading in points. Um, Nash is in second. Yeah, Ovechkin mm -hmm. is leading goals. Carey Price has the uh, 93.5 percent save percentage, and Carey Price has 36 wins. Flurry, I think, leads with eight shutouts. Yeah, but that's. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't really care. I hate Flurry. Um, Flurry. Yeah, that is, that is very interesting. The Canadians having a really good season, and and even like. The Metropolitan Division with the uh, with the Rangers and the Islanders and everyone uh, that that is a really tight race. Even though the Capitals are a seventh seed right now, if they go on a hot streak, they, they can easily be easily. number one. They can easily. be they can be a second or first seed in a. I mean, uh, Pittsburgh can, if Pittsburgh keeps playing like they're playing, the Capitals are going to jump up anytime soon. Yeah, and now I think I think there's all this talk about how how much better the West is. I think that's absolutely no, ridiculous. No way. The East is wide open. You have the Canadians in first. It's, sta it's stacked. Exactly. You know, the West is like you got the best teams, and then they just drop. And and you know going it's and talking and talking about a team like the Rangers that literally you know they gave up Anthony Duclair and all these draft picks to get Keith Yandel. Mm -hmm. That shows anyone more than anyone else that I think the Rangers are all in. Yep. They're pushing they're all their good. they're putting all their money into the middle yep. of the table. Yep. That means they're they want to go for a cup run the next. Two or three years. Mm -hmm. They have oh, uh, probably Lundqvist who has three more good years and they left. They have the weapons for it. They do. They do. And look at like a game the other night against Detroit, where you know it wasn't the best loss. You know it was a controversial penalty at the that end. Penalty was ridiculous. It hap It happens. Right, Sean. 
Couldn't agree more. Hockey, man. My, my, my mind's man. on something else, and I'm waiting Hockey to end this. Man. I'm waiting for you guys to like yeah. finish this topic because I just got some uh, but, breaking news. Just, get, just getting down to it. Just getting down to it. The East is East, East is, is wide open. I just like the it's East. it's very exciting, like and East. and not discrediting the West. The West has great teams too. The West has more dominant top seed teams, but I think as a whole, the East is more evenly I mean, hey, distributed. Look, the Islanders just took out the Predators. Exactly. So we'll see. What's uh, up, Sean? What's up, Sean? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking dun, away dun, from dun, hockey dun, 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 right dun, 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 now. Going back over to NFL. Okay. The Jets just received uh, wide receiver Brandon Marshall. You're kidding. Wow. Wait, this just happened. I just got it. <laughs> That's crazy. Where's my That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Adam Schefter. Brandon Marshall's going to the Jets. Brandon Marshall is going to the Jets. Big moves happening this, this just past Brandon week. Marshall is wow. going I'm telling you. Dude, see? This is why Sean Ryan wow. needs to be on the show every <laughs> wow. day. Crazy wow. things every happen. Every day, even when the shows don't happen, we, yeah, we I'll act, be here. We act, wow. He'll just be sitting in the booth and just like... <laughs> Wait, what are they giving to him, though? Uh, I don't know. Uh, don't ask me that. I just... All right, I got it. Uh, Brandon Marshall to the Jets. Wow. That's big. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to help him, but... Let's see, Brandon Marshall will no longer be part of the Bears. Uh, traded to Marshall the Jets per a source informed on the move to find a four-year contract with the Bears. Bears went to Jason Wilson opposite the Bears for the Jets. Parting a Marshall with they got rid of Decker. They I got, mean, they got rid of Eric Decker. Traded or dropped? If they dropped, oh wait, it, no, that's excuse a- me, they're pairing him together. Oh, oh well, okay. That's, oh, that's, that's completely different. I was <laughs> like, well, oh, jeez. I was confused for a second. No, they're gonna be a pair. They're gonna duo. The one thing, Decker though, the one thing now is that what? Where do they go from here? I mean, they have they have two awesome selections to choose from, uh, offensively wise. But you look at Geno Smith and Geno. May, hey, look, look, look at the last game of the season this year and look how well he played. But overall, like, does he have the the? quarterback yeah, IQ yeah, to actually lead say, the Jets. I was just going to say, now that they have a good pair in Marshall and Decker, where's the quarterback going to come in? How are they going to... I mean... How are they going to produce it? This is just me from, like, childhood just, like, admiring. I love Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. A lot of people do. Adore you know, A lot Michael of people Vick. lately have been saying how Michael Vick is actually... Um, he's doing, like... He, he knows how to play the game. He's a veteran quarterback. He knows how to play the game. He's fast. He's still fast. But, again, age age is going to catch up to him eventually. Age. But um, do do we know who the Jets coach is now? Is there any, like, big name? Um, because I feel like, like again. It's well, look Todd, up because football Todd, season Todd so Bowles. Quiet. Oh, Todd Bowles. That's right. You know, like, not uh, not uh, crapping on Rex Ryan here. Smith. But, I um. Think. You know, I feel like he didn't really give many quarterbacks a chance. You know, it was his mind and whatever he says goes. Yeah. yeah. He gave – what did he give, Michael Vick, two games? Michael Vick beat us. Yeah. Mm. So, but I'm saying, like, mm. you know, one bad move and it's kind of like bring back in Gino, Ex- bring back exactly, in Sanchez. Exactly, exactly. Know? But that's that's the point with any New York sport, you know what I mean, or, or any sport in general. You know, you're taking a huge gamble in, like, any sense of the word. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy though, Brandon Marshall. So now the Jets have a pretty, pretty interesting offense because now they got Ivory running back Decker and Marshall as the duo. They're gonna get rid of Harvin with this trade, I'm assuming. So now they got some nice options. Curly, you know, they got a lot of options here. Let's see how they utilize them, and we'll, we'll just wait for NFL season. You know, that's yeah. the only thing we can do. Give it some time. Yeah. Yeah. When does it start? Not soon enough. August. There you go. <laughs> August. So Steelers, you know, Steelers, Vikings, like five play the Hall of Fame game. When? Uh, August 9th. I could be wrong, but in early August, when the Hall of Fame ceremony is, uh, and Jerome Bettis gets in the Hall of Fame. Bus is going to Canton. Was that voted? Is yeah. He... No. Oh, Jerome wow. Bettis is going to the Hall of Fame. It's it's decided. It's happening. Congratulations. One of my idols. Love him. Bus. The bus. The bus. I mean, if your nickname is the bus. You, you gotta be okay. You, you gotta be a pretty pretty good football player, you know. All right, enough about sports. We'll be right back here with more discussions on WICR Fast Fest. Fest. Men walked away. I had nothing left. 